Zilla with Text Broker. Today we'll go over how to upload bulk orders via CSV using Excel. Now, this should be self-explanatory, but of course many people have problems, so we'll get into first of all what is a CSV. It's a comma-separated value spreadsheet. In other words, uh, in the coding behind the spreadsheet, there are little commas in between each data point. The comma tells the program where one value ends and another starts. Now, CSVs can use characters instead of the comma to separate these values, and we use a semicolon. We do that because a comma is very common in instructions and in the articles that you receive. So we would hate for your instructions to be cut in half because you had a comma in there. Semicolons don't appear in English as much, so we chose them to avoid issues with instructions being broken. Now, the other question is, do you really need a CSV? Do you want to go through this hassle? We find that a lot of our clients, when they realize how their orders are structured, they prefer our web-based bulk entry, and we do have some tips and tricks in our bulk entry video on how to take a spreadsheet and add in a few columns and make a really easy bulk order upload. But if you have different lengths of articles that you all need to place at once, or different quality levels, or articles with different instructions, like radically different instructions, then a CSV is right for you. If your different instructions are kind of geo-based or related to your title, then you can often use our placeholders to reference each title and avoid needing a CSV. Well, if you actually do need a CSV, how do you make one? There are a few different ways to do this. OpenOffice, which is covered in another video. Notepad, which is... The people who would use Notepad already know how to use it. And then Excel, which we're going to cover today. So we'll get into creating a CSV with Excel. Now, because Excel only saves CSVs with commas and not with semicolons, although that is a very standard thing to do, especially in Europe, we'll have to do a little nudging. We'll ask you to start with opening your control panel from your start menu, and then choosing either large or small icons in the category right near this yellow arrow. Both views will work uh, for visual ease, we're going to use the large icons, and it'll look like this. Then look for region and language, circled in purple here. Click on it and you will see the item on the left, region and language, and then additional settings also circled in purple. When you click on this, you'll see customize format here on the right side of your screen. And what you want to do is find the list separator, also circled in purple here for demonstration purposes, and change it from a comma to a semicolon. Then hit apply or OK, either one will do. And that will change the list separator on your machine. Now, this will apply to all CSV files that you have. So if you have CSVs from other programs, when you switch over, they won't look right. You'll have to switch back before you use uh, CSVs that are actually separated by commas instead of by semicolons. It's really easy to switch back. You can just follow these steps again. Once you've got those settings taken care of, then you can use Excel normally to create your CSV. And we'll just go through how to do your CSV here real quick. We'll start with your basic information. Uh, your CSV file for text broker does not have any headers. If you want to insert headers to make your life easier, great, but please remove them before you upload the file. Um, and when I me say remove, I mean save without them. So we'll start with your article title in column A, your minimum and maximum words in B and C respectively, your quality level in column D. We highly recommend starting with quality level 4. Quality level 5 is excellent for press releases and technical writing. Uh, you'll need the processing time in column E. The processing time is the amount of time the author has to write the article before it times out on them. It is not your delivery time. Please keep that in, that in mind. For items under 600 words, we highly recommend keeping the processing time at 1, and that is 1 day or 24 hours. 
the processing time is in day increments. So three does not mean three hours, it does mean three days. After the processing time, you'll be asked for a four digit category ID. That category ID is available on our site and I will show you where later in this presentation. Finally, category G, or column G, I'm sorry, is your description and your instructions. So that little star is there to remind you that the best content comes from fantastic instructions. We do have a few videos on order instructions on YouTube. We also have quite a few blog posts on them on our blog, blog.textworker.com. So these items are required. They are required for every order. They are required in this format. Uh, so please use regular whole digits. And then we also have SEO options, which we'll get into right now. SEO options start, of course, with keywords. You can use multiple keywords. Please separate them with a comma. Where we have keywords, we usually have a minimum and maximum keyword density. Uh, the density will apply to all the keywords in column H that you request, unless you set an individual keyword density, as we have done here for pet sitter. This means square bracket, one-to-one -one square bracket, means that we have a range. We only want pet sitter used once instead of three to five times. It does have to be in this format with square brackets and a range. You can put a space between your keyword phrase and the density, but it has to be within, right next to the keyword phrase. There's also plurals and inflections and stop words. If you enter a one into either of those columns, it will apply to all keyword phrases. We do not have an option to set plurals and inflections or stop words just for individual keyword phrases. Plurals will allow authors to use best dog walkers Las Vegas or pet sitters instead of best dog walker and pet sitter singular. Stop words will allow the author to use best dog walker in Las Vegas or best dog walker near Las Vegas and that will count towards the keyword density. If you're not going to use any of these things, you can leave any of them blank. Uh, so if you are not using stop words or plurals or inflections, uh, you can leave those blank. However, stop words does have to be in column L. So if you're going to use them, you need a zero in K and a one in L. Your complete order will look like this if you use our SEO options. You'll have A through G is your required information, H through L is your SEO information, and that will repeat for all of your orders. Then you simply save, and it should be saved with a semicolon because you've switched that setting on your computer. And then we'll have to upload to TextBurger. First of all, check for sufficient funds. If you do not have enough money, the orders for which you do not have enough money will not be placed. Anything that you can fully cover board count and processing fee will be placed. Otherwise, you'll get this nifty red error here. If you've already checked, you know you have enough money, go ahead and navigate to Assignments, New Order, Open Order, and click on Import CSV via CSV, which you'll see circled here in purple. When you do that, you will see this page. Now, I told you that I'd show you where the category ID is. This is where it is. You will find it directly below the screenshot of a spreadsheet that we have in the system. And there is a nice broad list of all of our categories. To finally upload your file, you will select your project, search for your file on your desktop, and then load it with the green button. When you press that green button, if everything is correct, there are no errors, and you have enough money, you will see this page for your final approval check and make sure that the maximum cost is within your budget and what you expect and you can place the binding order. When you do that you will have placed your first bulk order via CSV created in Excel. Congratulations!